distinguished guests on the podium, Mr. Chair, friends, ladies and gentlemen, great pleasure to be here. And it is on behalf of our Center for Mass Studies, on behalf of the organizers, it is indeed a great pleasure to welcome you all. The community-based adaptation has started with the spontaneous actions that ordinary people across the world have been doing as the scientists were talking and establishing that climate change is already here and now, while some politicians have been discussing is there a climate change issue. For most ordinary people, we have done surveys in Asia, Africa, Latin America, where you talk to a farmer, often they say, something isn't right in our life. The seasonality, which used to dominate and fix their agricultural calendar, is shifting. The precipitation is not coming in during the time where it's expected. The productivity is being affected and some disasters are affecting them. One of the lessons from IPCC knowledge in the Government Panel of Climate Change is that it is the extreme events that will affect the life and livelihoods of the community's people and of their own. Though the means will be fluctuating, gradually moving over years, decades and centuries, but extreme events are already showing in big ways, and this is evident in cyclone, floods, drought, uh, sea level rise, and many of the uh, phenomena associated with climate change. So the people have to act, and people have been acting, and it is communities who have been in the leadership of those. Sadly, many of them have not read the science, but they had to act in the best knowledge they had, which is often indigenous knowledge that they have practiced. But based on that, they have moved forward. Based on these understanding and how best to take the knowledge of community, climate change to the communities, work with the communities, learn from the communities, and work together through the professional scientists, the policy makers, the activists, all of them, and show the linkages between various aspects of climate change. Community-based adaptation started in 2005, and very soon, that the first one that was done in Bangladesh was about science of climate change and community-based participation. Very soon, found its role in mainstreaming climate change into development. To last year financing development we did it uh, two years ago in Vietnam on communicating adaptation. So various issues are taken as you know here the issue is monitoring evaluation and efficiency of adaptation. The reality is that climate change would need resources as Ibrahim has rightly pointed out and we used to talk of billions now it's moved to trillions and numbers are big. Nonetheless, the communities must get part of that resource themselves. And last year, we had the CBA 8 in Kathmandu, and the Prime Minister, in the presence of the Prime Minister of Nepal and various other distinguished guests, it was the Kathmandu Declaration was made there, which had two key, key elements on financing, because that was on financing. One was that there must be balanced distribution between adaptation and mitigation. Right now, in the political world, the balance is 14% for adaptation, 86% for mitigation. That has to be 50-50, and we are pleased to note that the Green Climate Fund has already recognized 50-50 as a way of distributing uh, the funds. One of the key issues, one of the declaration issues was 
that 50 or 50 50. So when the 50 percent adaptation fund comes to a country, the poor and the vulnerable who have been the forefront, who are the communities often facing, they must get 50 percent of the fund allocated and come to that country. Often that remains one of the major challenges. In fact, we mentioned Nepal uh, already. Nepalese government has said 80% of their money will go to the community, which is a wonderful commitment from the government. That, in many countries, when we discuss, may become a bit more difficult initially. So 50% must be the poorest. The lesson from Nepal is we have to swallow, we have to understand where we are, but one of the lessons we had already learned that disaster reduction and community adaptive based adaptation must go hand in hand. Much of our capacity that is being built, like in the case of the earthquake in Nepal, is being destroyed or has been destroyed or affected. How do we recoup and learn 